here's the deal. I've been working on the dually all day, not thinking that my table was gonna come, but guess what? My table came. So we got David helping us with the flatbed because I couldn't get a, you know, this is supposed to be a forklift job. <laughs> oh, fuck, that's heavy. Here it is. Here's my table. I am so freaking excited to get started. I know I've talked about this just a little bit and uh, man, fuck. Uh, look how big it is. Before I tell you about everything, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I wasn't gonna show the brand of the table, mostly because uh, I try really hard not to, not to share stuff that isn't sponsored on the channel because I work really hard to make sure all the stuff that I get sponsored is stuff that I would basically use anyway. So that way I can advocate the brands that I wanna advocate and you guys still like the products too and the ads. So it's like a win, 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 win situation. So that's why I work really hard to do that, but I'm not gonna do that. So the reason I'm gonna show the brand is because I, first of all, I don't wanna answer that question a million times, but this is an Arclight Arc Pro uh, X9600. The X9600, it's a four foot by eight foot plasma cutting table. There's really not much plasma cutting tables that are better than this area. There's a couple brands that are more expensive, a couple brands that have more features, and there's definitely industrial grade plasma cutting tables that are for like, that will fill up this whole shop. You know what I'm talking about? Like, and they run them 24 seven. I'm, I don't have, you know, a quarter of a million dollars, half a million dollars to drop on a big machine like that. But something like this, I can, I can totally justify and I and I'm excited to have it because I can do whatever I want with it. I can build bumpers, brackets, tools. I, I did there's unlimited stuff that I can build and I'm going to be running it as like a full fucking business under PPI, which is the name that we've come up with. Follow the Instagram in the description below. Uh, if you want to support the business already, we're not taking orders yet. So don't be like, hey, Dan, you don't have any orders yet. But obviously, I still have to learn how to use the table. I still have to install all the stuff that goes with the table. My air compressor isn't here because apparently my air compressor is back ordered. Had no idea when I spent $5,000 on an air compressor that it was back ordered. That's okay. Don't lose it. So I still don't have a way of running the table yet. I've been waiting a month and I don't have a way of running the table yet. I, I could not be happier uh, buying a table from them, and I say that because it wasn't sponsored. I, I know I've said that before, but it wasn't sponsored. And I fucking tried, all right? I have no connection to this company other than the fact that I bought their table and I like their service so far. I tried to get so many branded deals with plasma cutting tables, CNC tables. Fucking, you think of any name brand or sub name brand plasma cutting table company out there. I reached out to them and not only did every single one of them tell me no, they're like, fuck you. <laughs> and that's okay. You know, not every YouTuber gets to have everything they want. Kind of like the time that I ruined a continental sponsorship by yelling the words hot cum a bunch. It's not relevant, not relevant. Whatever. Let's let's start digging in this table and see what we got. Go to my Sonic toolbox, which is a mess. That didn't sound good. Done. This thing look like it's about to feed a thousand rounds of five, five, six a minute into some sort of Burt Boy. That that's really cool. I like that. Originally, when I reached out to um, to ArcLight, I was like, "Hey, yo, I'm due with Dan. Not that big of a deal, but I would love one of your tables." They're like, "Nah, but we'll help you get one." Not a single company did that with me because I still wanted a table regardless. I was just hoping I could get one for a discount or for free. You know, like why not explore those opportunities? <laughs> no one's ever gonna be mad at the fact that you tried. Okay, some people might be mad at the fact that you tried, but anyway, that's besides the point. Oh yeah, it also comes with its own computer to run it. That's pretty rad. It's really sad though, because like no matter what I do today, I can't, I can't turn it on. I can't, I can't fuck with it. I can't, I can't, well I can, I just can't run it because I don't have an air compressor, which you need the compressed air to run a plasma cutter. That's what helps with the piercing and stuff like that. It's what keeps it clean. I think you can run it with like gas, but I'm not gonna hook up a fucking CO2 bottle to my plasma cutter. So that being said, if any air compressor companies wants to give me an air compressor before mine shows up, uh, email me, links in the description. Yo, look at this piece. And to give you an example of, of like the stuff they can do with it, here's a piece that was uh, sitting in the pan. Obviously it's a test piece that they cut to make sure the machine works. They, they test everything to make sure the fidelity is good and the quality is great. This is what I'm excited about though. This is probably gonna be the most useful thing for me. Look how clean this bracket is. Like straight out of the cutter. I don't think they've, yeah, they didn't even chamfer the edges or anything like that. They didn't clean it up. Straight out of the cutter, that's how this bracket looks. Are you fucking kidding me? I am so beyond excited about this. This little piece of metal 
it, it should be a great example of what the machine can do. I will never have to cut out another bracket again, and neither will you if you buy my stuff. If you, if you support PPI whenever it becomes a fucking business. Let's see what's in box number one. Oh, dude. Don't tell me I paid money for a USB 2.0 cable. And a keyboard, oh, I bought a keyboard, really? Oh, yes, ah, oh, fuck, merch. Okay, I know I got excited about that, but it's a, I, I like these hats. They fit well on me, even when my hat hair's a mess and you guys don't even like looking at me. I guess part of the package was I bought a mouse and keyboard. I'll tell you why I'm disappointed in that. It's because, uh, of course, that it came with a mouse and keyboard. I should have bought my own. I want to be the first plasma cutting company to cut everything on an RGB keyboard and mouse. <laughs> keyboard, mouse. And not that there's anything wrong with buying a keyboard mouse from a package deal kind of deal because it's convenient that it showed up. Now I don't have to go to fucking Circuit City or whatever is still available near me. Oh, literature, I love user manuals. Oh, oh fuck, this is a thick boy. They, you fucking, <laughs> they get the screen printing error. You start running out of ink halfway through my copy. Congratulations, your table will be shipped in an air ride enclosed semi truck or trailer. Uh, that happened today. Do it then. Oh, what shit? Does it require keys? Tell me the fucking thing requires keys. <laughs> I've never spent $30,000 on something that didn't require a set of keys. So, valid. That's very valid. I'm guessing this is gonna be my monitor. Yeah, that's, that's my computer monitor. I think this thing runs Linux, so that's gonna be fun. Is this the computer required the, the run? Oh my god. I think this is... Oh my god. This is like a legit fucking work computer. All right, I'm not setting this up today. I'll do that tomorrow, probably. Still want to open up the HyperTherm 65 because I don't know what it is, but something about plasma cutting has always been like the coolest thing in the world to me, right? It's like the opposite of welding. Man, that sonic knife is really sharp. I have to be so careful with it. Hold on, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna pick this thing up off the table. All right, taking all bets, who thinks that I cannot pick this thing up? because I know that my HyperTherm 30 weighs a fucking ton. Oh. Wow, I'm stupid. Why would you do it like this? Hey guys, I'm doing with Dan. I have no forethought for anything I fucking do. I can hear what you're saying. You're thinking to yourself right now, Dan, how can this little box cut an inch, an inch and a half worth of steel? The answer, hold on. I didn't mean to, I, f I thought this was maybe like a cover sticker, but okay, I'm sorry. You guys know it's a hyper term, whatever. Just, I fucked that up. The answer, my children, little do with Danians. And this is, this is do it with Dan being fucking Listen, I, I try not to think that I'm very frivolous with my money. You know, I, I'm not frugal either. I enjoy the stuff that I buy. But when I'm buying stuff for purpose that I know I'll use forever, I, I go as, as hardcore as I fucking can because that's how I am, especially with tools. So there's two options for this hypertherm. I know the uh, hypertherm 65 and then the 65 one that's designed for CNCing or plasma cutting tables uh, that will automatically adjust the settings to whatever the computer wants it to. It's all connected and integrated into one fucking system. I never have to touch a dial or press a button. I just go boop, 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 and it I'm fucking Tony Stark. So yeah, I think all I gotta do is, is set it to, it's already set to it, I believe. The automated setting, I don't know. I'll, this, I, I've got so fucking, I have so many things I have to learn about before I get this table up and running. I'm gonna close down the shop today, and then tomorrow I'm gonna come back and we're gonna, we're gonna try to set this table up. I'm gonna try to get this table to turn on and to use, and to be usable without the, the, without the compressor. I do have a really small air compressor that um, was passed down to me when my grandfather passed. And you know, I love that air compressor. It's been great. Although I can't figure out where I put it. Okay, for real though. Hmm. Time after time. That corner over there? No. There it is. It was like a 200 PSI. It technically, it's got enough power to run the table for a plasma cutter, but it doesn't have enough to run it sustainably. And it certainly doesn't have enough power to fucking fill all these airlines. So, and it's also louder than the air compressor that I have ordered. So I'm gonna get on the phone with the company that makes the air compressors and hopefully they'll have something for me. Cause we're like four weeks into like a 10 week build out. I might just go buy a bigger air compressor to run in the meantime and then sell the air compressor. I know that sounds really, really absurd, but that just might be what I do. Oh wait, is this the air dryer? Already built into it. Nice. 
Now there's a lot of stuff that we have to go through to make sure that this is gonna be a well-oiled functioning machine, right? We have to make sure there's a ton of steps and there's a ton of processes and I wanna go through all of that with you, even the starting up of a new business. So like right now I'm in the process of finishing up with like my business name and how much it costs to do that in the state of Georgia. So there's a lot of stuff that I wanna share with you guys because I think you know, the American dream is starting your own business, right? I love doing my YouTube stuff. I love that I've been able to make people laugh and I still wanna be able to do that with everybody and run this business and, and make products for you guys. So I'm really excited. So I'm gonna wrap up the shop, pull the truck in, then we're gonna start breaking this thing down tomorrow and getting it all set up. All right, so we've, we found a good stopping place with the dually for right now, because we got the seats all put in. That was in the last video and I still have more work to do on that. But uh, for right now, that'll work. Because today, um, I'm gonna hopefully be setting up my plasma cutting table. Quite frankly, all of this stuff has to get moved around today. Uh, we got to probably move the dual. We probably need to move the dually out. Is the battery connected? It is not. But I definitely need to move the dually out of the shop today so we can do all the appropriate stuff. But I got to get changed. I, I'm still in my gym attire because I hit the gym today for the first time in like three months. Um, trying to work out again. Now we have a good old fashioned time lapse so we can do today's sponsor, which is Lucy. Lucy is a more refreshing alternative to smoking, dipping, chewing, any sort of nicotine related fix that you might need throughout the day. They wanna provide a more refreshing alternative without making you feel bad about doing the things that you like to do. They're not here to shame you through your vices that get you through the day. I get it, dude. I worked in an auto shop for a long time. Dipping was the only thing that kept me alive, you know? You get a ton of different flavors that you're gonna like. Pomegranate, wintergreen, cinnamon. And when you use the link in my description, you can use the coupon code do with Dana checkout and get a discount off your order. Again, thank you, Lucy, for partnering with me and helping me make this project easier. Now it's time to get back to the video. No way. I literally just beat the rain. I drove all the way across town with this TV in the back of my truck because that's the only thing that I have to transport any object of size right now. You guys are like, oh wow, what Dan, you bought a fucking TV? How is this relevant to today's video? Is it sponsored or something? No, I just wanted a TV at the shop and these TVs are cheap as fuck. It's absurd for a 55 inch flat screen 4K TV, it's upscaled res, so it's not truly 4K I don't think. Like I think they just upscaled the resolution from 1080p to like make it 4K, which is kind of bullshit. Who cares, I don't. It's, I wanted a TV for the shop so I could chill and relax and whatnot because I'm gonna be here a lot more with this table. So like I figured if we're gonna be setting up the table today, I wanna at least watch like Loki or something and none of that shit is sponsored. Just really wanted a TV in the shop. Oh shit, okay, didn't know that. Oh, those are the legs. You know, I honestly can't think of like a worse location to set up a brand new television than at my shop. You know what, fuck it, I don't feel like setting this up, I'm just gonna have YouTube version of me do it. There you go, it's all set up. That was super easy and you guys didn't have to watch none of that bullshit. Even left you guys the best part, which is the peels. Boom, there you have it. I tell you what, now this is tailgating right here. I, t I God dang, right here, this is nice. It's It needs to be a little bit brighter in here though. It's a bright room. Oh, okay. That's, is that as bright as it goes? There's a difference. It does, it's does. it got It's got settings, not a slider. Interesting. Let's test out the audio. This is episode two, so no spoilers. I need you to go over each and every one of the variants case files and then give me not bad, pretty good. I think that's gonna work. Uh, but what I'm basically gonna do is chill in my little workspace that I've created for myself. You know, I got my 
my workbench and my, my I'm just gonna just gonna kind of learn what I need to do my my pamphlet here which uh, has some setup instructions which is not not exactly short and I'm just gonna set it up and it's gonna be that simple I'll go over the stuff that seems important if you guys want to but like we're gonna set the table today unique low-key perspective Now this is the computer that runs the whole table. It's very heavy and awkward. Is that really how this goes? It just, it straight up just mounts to it? What the fuck? Okay. So straight up, I think these just mount through here. And I think that you use that surface as straight up like the, the keyboard. Cool. This is not good to do by myself, but hey. Wait, what? That's how it attaches? You're fucking me. It's magnetic. Is that? That's cool. Okay, actually, uh, I think we're ready to start this. I think we're actually ready to turn this thing on. Holy shit. So I've got the keyboard. I've, I've been in here. The uh, This was locked and I left the keys for it at home. So I had to like unscrew it, you know? Basically, I'm a hacker now. But I think I have everything set up through here the last thing i need to install uh which is by the way this is the torch for the for that actually <laughs> here's the uh plug and wiring setup for the xp35 and i don't have it set up yet so i can't run this plasma cutter um the only thing that we don't have hooked up right now is we have this um 
Ethernet cable, this goes, the, uh, the plasma cutter is what controls it. And then the power cord, which goes into like a little, uh, you know, a little safety block in there, in there that distributes all the power. Just on a circuit breaker, it's really simple, but we should just be able to plug that up and it be ready to go. All right, so what's really cool about this whole system is that the only thing that requires a separate plug is the plasma cutter itself. All the, all the servos that power the motors and whatnot, those are all controlled through the X, Y, Z, and A access here. Just plug in the computer, it's all controlled uh, under 15 amps, which is kind of nice. I'm just using a piece of tape to hold this until I go get the keys from the house, but let's uh, turn it on. Access main program. Access main security. Access main program grid. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You didn't say the magic word. Please! Uh, uh, uh. God uh, damn it! Uh, uh. Hate this hacker crap! Uh, uh. Oh. My God. Wow. All right. It's funny, I, uh, I genuinely forgot. Enough time had passed that I had forgot that the system runs off of Linux. It's not a problem. It's just been a very long time since I've run Linux or fucked with Linux. And the cool thing about Linux is that I don't have to deal with Windows crashing, which is fucking great, actually. So what do we got here on our our homepage? We got can CNC, command CNC, arc light quick start guide, watch first, scanny thing. I like that name, scanny thing. Inkscape, I'm familiar with Inkscape. I've done some uh, stuff with Justin's Plotter with Inkscape. Sheet cam, great. Sheet cam, that's fucking cool. P2 plasma, P2 pipe cutter profile. Oh yeah, the, there's a router attachment, a pipe cutter attachment. Uh, there's a bunch of other cool stuff you can do with this stuff. I think you can even get an engraver. Um, something I really want to consider, it's just, I didn't want all my money wrapped up in the cost of this of this this freaking table. Okay, so turn on the power strip, blah blah blah, power push the green motor power control. Okay. Smart power control, that's what I do. On. Fantastic. Did I plug up everything right? Like maybe I gotta press and hold the button. Alright, that's not what it was. Cool. I remembered that there was a little switchy back here, and uh, then I turned it on. So that's great. Because now all this stuff works. So we're supposed to turn this on. <gasps> it made noises. We're on. This is on. So I should be able to control it through a program. There's Command C and C. Oh God, I hate, I hate fucking Linux. Command, yes, this is it. Okay, it was mislabeled. E-stop active. Okay, once you have open command CNC, we'll bring the machine out of E-stop. Okay, what is E-stop? All, all of these are not lit, lit up, which is great. <gasps> no. Okay, that's the X-axis. Oh my God, I have control over the X and Y. This is, this is amazing. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. This is what I was waiting for, was like the control over it. That's what I was excited about. And now I got that. Do that, then I can control it. It's really not that loud. It's got, it's got some stops there. It'll... Will it automatically hit the stops? Oh, look at that. It does, it has hard stops, nice. It knows to stop. It actually, I thought it was gonna jerk the table a lot more on its on its stops and its movement, uh, cause right now it's still on the casters. Once I have the final location for it, then I'll probably take it off the casters. But I think for right now, that just having it where it's still mobile until we can figure out a solid place for it, I'm, I'm pretty stoked on that. 
All right, so here's the deal. I'm gonna end the video here because this is, we're at the maximum amount of progress that I can make without having everything else set up. I can't test the torch or even set the torch height because I still don't have everything set up. So uh, I think what I'm gonna have to do now is just basically off camera, kind of learn the program a little bit. A lot of reading. We, we only made it to page 11 and there's like 80 pages in this thing. And I, or, oh man, 90, 101 pages in this thing. And I have to read every single one of them because that's who I am. So that's fun. So I'm gonna save all the nerd shit for right now because I don't think any of that is gonna be like content. But the point is that we have the table. PPI, which is my plasma cutting company, is gonna be up and running very soon. You guys can follow the Instagram if you'd like. I'd appreciate it. Um, I have some really cool ideas that are gonna directly affect you guys that I think this table that I think is gonna make the channel just like 10 times cooler. I'm sure to you guys it's probably not the most exciting thing in the world, but like for me this is. This is, this is the coolest thing in the world to me right now. That being said, I'm wrapping this video up. I wanna say thank you guys for watching. I appreciate Appreciate you guys. Lucy, thank you for sponsoring today's video and I will see you guys in the next one. We got shit to cut.